Good morning all, I'm glad that you're here. I have a softball coaches clinic this morning. I'm really excited to just talk softball for seven straight hours. I actually woke up this morning and have been texting about softball. I have a former player who's messaged me this morning talking about the University of Oregon softball issue situation. So like today is all softball. So excited. I need to make sure that I bring a notebook. Ooh, I wanted to make coffee before I went, which means I need to turn water on now or else I'm not gonna have any because it's really close to time to go. Mulligan was so funny this morning. So he usually comes out and says hi to me after I let Mal outside. See, there he is. He's a little more active in the mornings. Hi, babies. Hello, babies. So he's a little more active in the mornings and he'll come in the bathroom with me. And then this morning I was next to the sink getting stuff ready for breakfast and he jumped up on the counter and then freaked himself out and jumped back down. So it's really funny. This one spends a lot of time with him at night, just sitting outside of his little lair, trying to get him to come out. Oh, don't ya, don't you, don't you, don't ya. Yeah, were you crying for me this morning? Were you crying for me to get up this morning? Yes, you were. Yesterday was Mala's adoption day. We have had Mala for one whole year. You can go check out the video of when we got her if you want, when she was just a little bitty puppy. She was so cute. We had driven up from England up to Scotland to go get her. If you want to see that, you can go check that out. I did dishes last night. You couldn't tell though, but I did do a lot of dishes last night, but I need to make this coffee and I need to go to the clinic. Change of plans. I could not find my reusable coffee mug. I don't know where it is. It might be in my Subaru. So I'm in the drive-thru at Dunkin' and I'm hoping that everyone else in this line is also just grabbing a coffee and going. Because I think I have enough time to get to where I'm going. I think I have enough time. I mean, it's basically the same commute as my commute to work. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll be fine. It's not like they're going to start right at 8 o'clock, right? All right, I am, I am home now. The softball clinic was literally 15 minutes longer than my usual work schedule. So it just feels like I had an extra day of work, but it was really good. I feel like I've gotten a lot more ideas for the season as far as drills go and things to focus on with the girls. It was really good to have my JV coach there so that way we can talk about the upcoming season. And it's just, it's so exciting to get that stuff started. So right now I've come back and I've made myself a little snack. I'm out of breath, I just ran up the stairs because I am unfit. <laughs> oh, I am unfit. Um, and I'm just catching on, up on some YouTube videos and that's what I'm going to do for a little bit until Dave comes back from wherever he is. I'm not sure where he is at the moment. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm unfit. I'm unfit. I'm so tired right now that I don't even want to stand up. <laughs> like, tiredness is seeping into laziness, but that does not mean that I'm going to go to bed anytime soon. And I'm about to come downstairs and eat cereal for dinner. Like, my ass is asleep watching hoarders. I've been on my laptop thinking of like new projects and stuff that I want to work on. Like, I, it's so hard. Like, I, I want to make a plan. I also really need to go to the bathroom, so I'm having a hard time thinking. So hold on, let me go to the bathroom and then we're gonna try this again. Okay, that's better. The amount I eat cereal is appalling. <laughs> like, why do I do this? I should not buy cereal anymore because I will choose cereal for dinner. Like, eight times out of 10, I'd say. Overcooking? Yeah, I'll eat some cereal. Yeah, I have like these, I have so many project ideas. I've always had so many ideas for things. And I just, I don't do it. And these, Here's some reason why I think that I have stopped myself from doing those things in the past is because one, I lack the motivation. I lack the motivation to do basic things um, a lot of the time. I'll make lists and lists and lists. I want to do it. I'll want to do it. And then I just don't. Maybe it's that like, what are the, the deadly sins? Sloth. That's like laziness, right? Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> I think I have that. And the things that I want to do, the projects that are in my head, I think on them and think on them and think on them and like, oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. How would I do it? What would I do? How would I go about it? Who would I need to talk to about it? And then once it gets to that, who do I need to talk to about it? I start backing off of the idea because I, I, I don't know why. I feel like I'm still trying to like figure that part out. Do I feel like it's not a good enough idea to share with other people? I guess is what I'm getting at. Am I thinking that I'll be the only one to like it, which like statistically speaking is unlikely. 
<laughs> like there's probably another human that would be like, yeah, this is all right, this is fine. They would appreciate it, they would like it. So what is my hang up? I don't know, I feel like it's just hard. It's hard to put stuff out. It's hard to put things that you work on like that out. I'm just trying to still figure out my confidence level about that sort of shit. Like, just need to have the confidence to do it. Maybe it's motivation, maybe it's confidence. Like, I don't know. Which is it? Which is it? I'm gonna eat my cereal and watch hoarders. And probably not accomplish anything else. Good morning. I don't want to get up. <laughs> I don't want to get up. Dave went off real quick with the snowmobile club to let them know that he is not grooming the trails today because he did some last night and he and I are going to go out snowmobiling today. Oh my gosh, my lip is so split. Uh, I mean, I need to get up because I think he let the dog out and I think he was expecting me to let her back in. But today is the only day of the week that I can sleep in. It's not even eight o'clock. This is my sleeping in now. We are at Martin's right now because trying to find some warm weather clothes, cold weather clothes, what other, whatever clothes keep me warm so we can go snowmobiling. And there's whole shoe racks over here of odd coupled shoes. The right shoes a seven and the left shoes a seven and a half. We built this schmini on Tootsie Rolls. Martin's was a no-go. So now we're at Tractor Supply. I've got muck boot on here. All right, we are. High fashion, obviously. Well, my hair is going everywhere, but it's gonna go everywhere because I'm gonna put a snowmobile helmet on later. We got some coveralls for warmth reasons. And Dave has just gone to go grab me a jacket. <laughs> Am I outdoorsy yet? Mmm, girl, do you go outside? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? In my attempt to be outdoorsy, Dave and I are going to see if we can fit on the snowmobile together. I'm gonna figure out a way to get up here. <sighs> Don't let me fall off. This is pretty much as close as I can get. <sighs> you want? Yeah. How much room is it back? <laughs> None. <laughs> okay. This is it for me. All right, we'll do. We'll give her a try. We'll give her a go. <laughs> All right, now you can go get ready. Okay. I'm pretty much ready. I just have to grab my helmet. But, uh, for the future, a little extra wouldn't hurt, but this will do for today. I'll, but... I'll get a, I'll get a two up seat. I mean, you can get a thing that goes, that bolts in here. Yeah. And it comes up and it gives you a little bit on the back and a backrest. Ooh, that'd be great. So unfortunately we couldn't find a jacket that was a different color than my coveralls. So I'm going to be real matchy matchy. It's such a gorgeous day out too. 28 degrees. It's not bad. It ain't bad. I don't think I have any Zippy pockets for like my phone and stuff. Helmets right, on I need side. to, in the future, get a fleece that's my own size because there's losing room in here. Am I wearing a backpack? Can we bring you stuff with us? Yes. Okay. Not much room in it, but yes. But I can put my phone and my camera in it? Yes. Great, let's go for a ride. I did not bring the GoPro with me. I did not even see if it was charged. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we'd need to figure out mount situations and and also editing situations because my GoPro does not like to go into Final Cut Pro. So that'll be a future you thing. Need to, you need to process it in the GoPro software first. Yeah, and my laptop does not have enough space to put GoPro software on. So, gotta figure it out. Need to upgrade Do you want to rip eventually. off the stickers or don't you care? What? On the helmet. You can rip off the stickers. Why is that like a satis satisfying thing for you to rip the stickers off your helmet? Yeah, that's why I ask. I don't want to ruin your sticker pulling. That's all right. I don't need the garage door right now. No. Ugh. Watch this, ready? <laughs> How good is that? Do I look outdoorsy yet? We did not manage to get me a pair of boots that fit me, so I'm borrowing Dave's. They're a little big, but I'll get the job done. Ooh, okay. Oh God. Okay, what you want in this bag? My, my legs aren't strong enough to pick these boots up. <laughs> uh, my phone and my camera. Where's your phone? my hand let's go for a ride <laughs> it's a bit of a tight squeeze <laughs> sitting both of us on the seat it's a little little tight so definitely i feel like we'll need a, a second person seat before we go again dave's getting all cramped up because his arms are really close in my hips are hurting and after that last little stretch where i like held on to you really tight now my shoulders hurt so i think i'm gonna be sore tomorrow for work for sure <laughs> <laughs> That's good fun. I'm glad I got you the helmet if you're enjoying it. We'll have to see if we can yeah. borrow um, a sled and put you on it. Ride together. 
Oh, we'd be so cute riding together. It's so hard though, because we're sitting so close together, I can't see when the turns are coming. So I don't know when to lean with the turn. And then sometimes I feel like when I do like peek around to take a look, it it messes up our balance and it makes us kind of like We do get a bit wobbly, wobbly sometimes. But it's just because like I can't see what's coming up. <laughs> we are back from our outing. Come on. And that was good fun. Snowmobiling was fun. I've never not enjoyed like snowmobiling itself. Like I've never not enjoyed that. I just never got into it because it was outside where the cold was. But that's why we went out and we bought my, me some warm clothes. And having warm clothes is the absolute difference. Um, so that was good fun. There were spots on the trail where because we had gotten a big rainstorm last week, there were spots on the trail where it was just glare ice. And I don't know if you've ever snowmobiled or not before, but it's not just about steering. When you steer, you have to put your body weight into it to go around corners. So we are trying to get off the glare ice spots and I put my weight a little too into it and we ended up like turning the sled completely around. We weren't going fast or anything, but it, yeah, it just didn't work. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's just lay down, let's just lay down. <laughs> so it was good fun. My shoulder was hurting at the end. Like, I didn't realize that I'd be in so much physical pain afterwards. It was fun. Maybe someday I'll have my own sled, but not while we're living in town. Maybe once we can put a house on the land or live out somewhere where we can just drive from our land to a trail. That would be ideal because I don't want to mess around with trailers. I don't want to have to put two sleds on a trailer and all that stuff. I just want to get on and go if that were to be it. Something I noticed out on the trail, there's like trail etiquette and I don't know if this was a rule that was written down or if it's just something that evolved throughout but while you're on the trail if you're riding in a convoy you put up how many sleds are behind you and if you're riding by yourself you just like give a fist like nope no one behind me you don't have to worry because we passed a group of two of three sleds and the first person in line put up two two fingers because there's two sleds behind me. One finger, and the no, and it, I was like, oh, okay, that's nice. Is that a rule that was written down or is it just, you know, just unspoken trail etiquette? I don't know. How did things like that come into being? But a guy from the snowmobile club is going to come over and he's going to replace our upstairs windows. The windows that we have in this room where we have plastic over it because it's single pane. So he's gonna come replace our windows today. So that's gonna be good. I think in the meantime, I am going to shower and edit while he works on that. Um, just that way I can be a little out of the way and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what this is on my nose. I can't tell if it's a pimple or if I've hit my nose on something. Don't know. Look at the blanket I made and then Molly gets her little talons caught in it. <sighs> Such a pain. All right, I'm home. I'm home after work right now. It's Monday at quarter to five. I'm in my bed, like no bra, got hoarders on. I've got my laptop out. I'm gonna try to do some editing. Do not even remember what the last video clip was. Oh, we got our windows fixed. We have new windows in our upstairs rooms. And that was pretty much where the night kind of ended. At work today, at work every day, I make myself a list of things that I wanna achieve and get done when I get home. Like I make myself a reasonable list. It's not super long. It's, it's, it's simple things that I could do and get done in a reasonable amount of time. But by the time that I get home, I don't realize how much energy I'm putting out while I'm at work. I guess I just don't realize it in that moment because when I get home, I'm just so tired and exhausted. I'm so tired and exhausted. Some of the things that I put on my list to do just kind of goes to the wayside. It just doesn't quite happen. I'm trying to find the balance between feeling absolutely miserable about not getting it done and also just relieved and relaxed when I get home and try not to dwell on, on 
what I haven't gotten done. It's just, it's tiring. It's very tiring. And there's so many other things that I want to do, but I just spend all my energy elsewhere. And I don't know if I'm just not planning my time well enough. I don't know if it's motivation, like lacking in motivation, or I don't know if I just expel more energy than I realize while I'm working. So that's, that's where I am currently in bed, trying to do some stuff. We'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna end this vlog here. So, thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far. Don't forget to subscribe if you feel like it, and I will see you next time.